Action Camera is an amazing feature almost no one knows about. It was added some time ago and since the game didn't advertise that by any way it quickly falls into the oblivion. It basically allows you to play the game almost like third person shooter. It's very well executed and works flawlessly for almost any situation. The first thing you have to do is bind a toggle key. Go to the options, control options and scroll down to the camera section. And set toggle action camera to some easily accessible key. The game is pretty clever with this and will turn it on and off if you open some window, but you will still need it sometimes. It takes few hours before you get used to it, but then you will never go back. Action camera gives you a free camera movement. You no longer have to turn with a right click. It's very refreshing when you have to run around for a long time like on chest farms. If you're currently not attacking, pressing WSAD will make you instantly run forward to that direction instead of strafing or backpedaling. This way is positioning much faster and easier and riding on mounts is much smoother with this. It's like 10 times better experience. A dot in the middle works just like crosshair in action games. All your attacks will be heading to the point you're aiming at. While you don't aim at anything, you will see just a simple dot. If you aim at the target or its hitbox, a rotated crosshair will pop up. It will be shown as well if you have the target already selected, but you are out of range. Once is the target in range of at least one of your skills, a crosshair will turn and add a circle around the dot. A right click will select and lock target you're aiming at. A click to open space will deselect it. In theory, you don't have to use it at all and rely just on precise aiming, but a combination of both systems is the most convenient. If you have the target selected, the area where you can hit it will be expanded with its hitbox, which is usually much bigger than target itself. And of course, all attacks will hit the center of the target, no matter on what part of hitbox you will aim at. A left click works just like auto attack on skill 1. Some people may like it, but I've never end up using it. Action camera is closely tied to other options and if you don't set them properly, it will not work in the way you expect it. It's usually a reason why some people stop or even refuse using it. In general options are two interesting sliders called vertical position near and far. It basically determines how high above your character's head camera will be when you zoom close or far. It's a bit personal taste, but I prefer to set near slider to somewhere between half and maximum. This way is crosshair always above character's head and view isn't obstructed if you zoom too close or in narrow spaces. Ground targeting changed the way how our ground target skills executed. Normal show green circle once you press the button and throw it when you press it again. I don't recommend to use it because double click is quite significant DPS loss. Fast with range indicator show green circle when you press the button down and throw skill when you release it. Probably the best option for new players. Instant cast is thrown immediately on a press without a green circle and it's my personal favorite. Auto-targeting automatically select the target you're attacking on and deselect it after crosshair leaves hitbox or you start attacking on different one. For most of the time it's the best to have it enabled. But there are situations like quick mob tagging where it can slightly decrease an amount of targets you are able to hit because skill is shooting to hitbox rather than on dot. This issue can be almost solved with other option called allow skill retargeting, where you can change target in the middle of channeling. Promote skill target will automatically lock target picked by previous option auto targeting. It's the same functionality like a right click with an action camera. Lock target won't be deselected if crosshair leaves hitbox or if you attack on a different target. This option looks handy, but it's actually very annoying. 
Better leave it unchecked and lock target when it's necessary with a right click. Lock ground target at maximum skill range means that game will no longer try to throw skills further than its maximum distance, aka no more red ground targeted circles and failed casts. Instead, skills will always land at the maximum distance regardless how far over you aim. This is especially helpful for quick leaps to maximum range. Snap ground target to current target is an incredibly important for an action camera and its blessings for classes like Engineer who has plenty of ground target skills. The best example is grenade auto attack. Without this option will attack land on the spot where your crosshair is, so you have to aim exactly under target's feet. Because of that you can easily miss some hits. But with this active, all you have to do is aim anywhere on the hitbox and ground targeted attacks will always land precisely. That's all I had for today, so if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment and stay tuned for next time.